guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be playing Animal Company, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get some killer money, uh, and you don't need a backpack, all you need, honestly, all you need is a flashlight, but I choose to have a rocket, just for, uh, to make it easier, so, let's get into this. So, first off, that's where you spawn, okay? Uh, and you're gonna want to come over here to this, uh, the cell machine that makes the ding ding noises. Right? And you want to go past it. And you're gonna come down here to the sewer. Don't know why that cube makes noises, don't question it. And you're gonna come down here and jump into the sewer. Okay? Now, the reason I use a rocket to make it easier is for the parkour. I am good at parkour, but this is for those people who are not good at parkour. You can use this on the harder version of the parkour. So, it's pretty useful if you ask me. And then stop here. And then... And you're good. Once you make it in here, it's pretty terrifying. Don't look at him. Come over here. There's a bomb. Don't get exploded by the bombs. The bombs hurt a lot. And if you guys didn't see where I went, just play back where I went, okay? I just play back like probably like 10, 15 seconds ago. And you jump down this hole, okay? You come right over here. Uh, you jump here, and this is the hard. This is the hard obby. So what you do is once you're here, use your rocket to go over there. And the the use button is uh, Y or B on your controllers. Use your rocket to make it all the way over here, and you can just throw your your rocket away. Now come in here. Jump down the hole. And this one should be pretty easy. That's why I didn't bring an extra rocket. If you want to bring an extra rocket, you 100% can. It'll just take up more space. So what you do is you go to the edge of here and jump. And I failed. Yeah, I failed. I'll, I'll edit it to where I feel bad. I'll be back there. All right, here again. And as I was saying, I didn't think it's funny that I died when I said this is the easy one. I jumped too far to the left. So what you're going to want to jump is you're going to try to aim straight for that corner. Because then you'll land, like, right on it. And you're going to want to come up here. And then, once you're up here, jump from here down here. Now, from here on out, it's pretty easy. If there's bombs, just run past them. Go diagonally right. And then you're out. It's that easy to get here. And then, what you want to do, is just jump down the hole. By the way, you can also drop your flashlight here as well, if you want. Bye-bye, flashlight. Bye-bye. Alright. Now, grab one of these, and you can put it on your back. Okay? And once you put that on your back, you're going to notice you're a little heavier, but if you're not very heavy... And you can still move. Grab another one. So that way, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab another one so I can show you what I mean. Now, if I try to move, it's really hard. Okay. So that's why you're only gonna get one. And just this one should sell for about two thousand to four thousand dollars. And also, you can get you can get uh, pieces of gold, which will also boost your money up there quite a lot. Now, stay on this. Grab this. Alright. Now you drop down. And just keep moving. Here, let me show you. So I came from right over there. You're gonna come over here and turn left. And then you're gonna be this way. And what you do is, you know, I'm just gonna throw this piece of gold because there's gonna be more gold uh, in the next stage. So you come this way, through there, and you're going to see these pillars, okay? 
Now these pillars are very useful, right? But uh, what you do is you come up here. And usually I would say to stay on the ground, but since I want to make it through faster, I'm just going to jump and boost off that. So that way I can just make it through pretty fast. And what you would do is you would stay on the ground and make- Oh no, 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 no! And you would make sure not to touch anything, pretty much. Because if you do, you're basically- you're just guaranteed to die. Like, don't touch those, don't touch those, don't touch those. If you touch those, you're dead. <laughs> like, just like that. Alright, now gr grab two pieces of gold, if you want max profit, and come this way. And you're gonna come this way, up here, and go down, perfect. And now, stay as low to the ground as you can, and make sure not to touch any of these tentacle things, okay? Because if you do, as I said earlier, you are going to die, no matter what, if you touch them. Up here, come up here. Yes, yes, okay. I'll come over here. Come up here. And if you made it this far, good job. You made it. But there are angler fish in here. So if you don't see anyone or any of them, make sure you. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I saw an angler fish. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna- I'm gonna fast forward this until, uh, he's gone. Alright, now we should be good to go. Just make sure... ...to not stay in one place. Oh no! And you made it! Good job! If you made it this far, you have successfully gotten one of the packages and two gold to get a ton of money. I'm stuck. No, 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 no. Not like this. Okay. So now, what you do is you come over to the cell machine, put your gold in, and then grab your package. Put the package. Once you do that, close her up, and then watch the money roll in. That did not sell for as much as I thought it would. So, I guess they made the sell amount go down on these. But that's still a lot of money, as you can see. And I'm gonna do it again. I'll, I'm gonna do a time lapse of me doing this until my headset's about to die. Because my headset is not very charged. Oh, and I'm just gonna let you know, you can touch these, right? Just don't touch them with your hands, or things that are in your hands, or else you will get hurt. But the good thing is, they don't do that much damage. I am gonna let you guys know, this does get pretty easy once you get used to doing it over and over again. So, I'm just gonna let you know that. 
so it does take practice to do this, but, you know, we'll get good at it eventually, just like anything else. If you're not good at it in the moment, you'll eventually get good at it if you keep trying. And I've had multiple people in public lobbies say that this was way too hard, but it's well worth it if you're trying to get a ton of money. Oh, there are the anglers. I already see them. Now, I heard that there's four, but I've only seen two, so I don't know. See, we're back to four now. Oh, and I've also come to the conclusion that different sizes of gold do not matter. So, it's okay if you want to just get tiny pieces of gold and actually be able to see your hands. So, I thought that that was pretty cool. Oh, no shot. First death. First death. It's not that bad. Still in profit by 3k. the red light green light things and I hate the bombs <laughs> only one death so far and we got five thousand dollars so far which is pretty good It's mostly forgiving, except for the eyeballs. The eyeballs are not forgiving. They are, um, very, we'll just say, mean. We'll just, we'll just say mean. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to break this to you guys, but, um, my recording stopped because I ran out of uh, memory on my Oculus. So, yeah, it doesn't—it doesn't really matter anyway, though, because that was the last run, and um, I started with nineteen thousand dollars and ended with twenty-five thousand dollars. So I got six thousand dollars in a matter of thirty minutes. Now, this may not seem like very much, but if you think about it. How much money would anything else give you? Like, you could scavenge two full backpacks of a ton of stuff and you'd get, like, half of that. So, I mean, really, if you think about it, it wasn't that bad. But, sorry for the inconvenience, you know, but 
If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.